Hello, I'm Paul Pritchard from Abacus Accountancy and I want to share with you some tips to try and make your business more successful. The tip I want to share with you today is regarding a car. Now most people have to use a vehicle of some kind through their business, but the, the law surrounding it is, can be quite complicated. Essentially, if you're a sole trader, you have two options. You can buy the car, which is called a capital allowance, and put it through the business. Then you're allowed to claim the cost of your insurance, your MOT, your petrol, any repairs, and so forth. Uh, if you have to have a loan for the car, you can also claim the uh, interest on the loan as well. That can be beneficial, but the other way of doing it is to claim um, pence per mile. So you work out how many business miles you do per year, and you reclaim 45 pence a mile for the first 10,000 miles, 25 pence per mile thereafter. Really, once you've chosen one option or the other, you have to stick with it until you change your vehicle. So it's important to make sure you get some good advice from the outset for your particular circumstances. Now, if you have a limited company, things are slightly different. You can have a company car, um, and that's not a problem, in which case the company purchases the vehicle, it has an asset on its balance sheet, and again it claims all the running costs such as your MOT, your insurance, your petrol and so forth. However, as a company director, you personally will be liable for tax on that company car if you've got personal use on it. And the amount of tax you pay depends varying according to the emissions of the car and how much the car costs to purchase in the first place. So it can be a very, very tricky area. Usually, for a small owner-managed business, the simplest option is to keep a um, log of all your mileage and keep the car in your personal name. That way the company can reimburse you for your expenses at a rate of 45 pence per mile for the first 10,000 miles, 25 pence per mile thereafter. So as with all the advice and tips that we're giving, it's best to get some professional advice. And if you're in any doubt whatsoever, please feel free to contact us. The details are here and it will cost you absolutely nothing whether you're a client or not. So please feel free to get in touch and we will advise you for certainly on your circumstances with vehicle expenses.